Came out this morning and the truck is dead. So we're gonna try this new thing we got on TV. It's called the Halo. It's supposed to jump start your truck or car or whatever's dead. And uh, haven't tried it, but it worked well on the TV advertisement. So we'll see if it's gonna see if it's gonna work out for us or not. Dead. Dead. Has the instructions on the bag, so follow the instructions on the bag and see if this thing will start my truck. Red on the positive. Black on the negative. And then press jump start. So you get a solid green light. Got a solid green light. Got a solid green light now, so I'm gonna go and try to start the truck. Thing fired right up. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, so it works. The Halo jump starter. And this thing was totally dead, and the thing just fired the truck right up. So um, I guess I recommend. Good deal. So the Halo jump starter worked. Uh, it's supposed to be able to jump several times. So I'm going to bring it with me in case I have to turn the truck off for whatever reason or the truck dies. I can jump it again on the way over to uh, to the shop. Not the way I wanted to spend my New Year's Day, but luckily it happened on New Year's Day when I had the day off, so I could take the truck in and get it checked out, and uh, we'll see if I'm gonna be spending some money on a battery or an alternator, or maybe it's just cold and uh, wouldn't start today, so we'll see how it goes. It was a dead battery, and silver lining is that it happened on New Year's Day. Instead of discovering it tomorrow morning when I wake up to go to work, I discovered it today, so I was gonna run to the store and uh, so dead battery, $200 later. But it could have been a lot worse. Could have had to pay for a tow or could have been tomorrow morning and I wouldn't have been able to start the car. And luckily we got the, the Halo. And since I am recommending the Halo, I wanted to tell you a little bit more about it. This is a little bag that comes in. On the outside of the bag is the instructions on how to jump your car off, which is handy. It's right there on the bag. You don't have to worry about keeping a, a paper or instructions or losing those it's in the bag that the halo comes in this is the actual halo and they come in a bunch of different colors you can get them online at a bunch of different sites we got ours at qvc i think ours was like a today special value or something so we got ours for a little cheaper but the majority of places that you find them it'll be a, about a hundred bucks maybe a little bit more depending on shipping and things like that but i wanted to show you a little bit more about about this thing so right here is where you will plug in the jumper cables so it comes with the jumper cables here that plug right in there they'll plug right into there and simple instructions you plug that in there you don't have to turn the halo on so as soon as you plug this on this green light right here will start flashing you hit that flashing green light once you plug these to your battery you hit that green light right there and once the green light becomes solid then you're good to go and try to start your car which I plugged it up to the the battery and hit the button and as soon as the green light went solid I went and jumped in the truck and it fired right up first time. Uh, these are USB plugs right here so that you can plug in your phones or accessories or whatever. If you're not jumping off your car and you want to just turn this thing on, hit the, the blue button right there it'll turn on and you can see right here this is a battery indicator. It tells you how much juice you still have in your halo and so you can see I jumped off my truck and this thing is still full so it will still charge your stuff it'll probably still jump a vehicle several more times this can jump you know cars motorcycles four-wheelers all kinds of stuff on the other side it has a regular plug so you can plug in your 110 stuff so if you're out remote somewhere you got to plug in that you can even plug in like a power strip so you can plug in multiple other things and I'm not sure exactly how long this will last it'll kind of depend on how much you have plugged into it and things like that and if this would have happened at night, 
has a flashlight on the end of it so that you can see what you're doing while you're trying to hook this thing up. So 110 bucks, uh, probably saved me a tow and saved me a bunch of time, stuff like that. So I think this thing probably paid for itself on the first time that I needed to use it. So definitely recommend it. It also comes with um, a plug that plugs into your car. If you want to recharge your Halo on the go, you can plug this in into your vehicle and then plug this in into the Halo to recharge the actual Halo box. Also comes with a, a wire plug. So you plug this into your Halo, plug this into the wall. It'll actually recharge this so that if you use all the juice out of this, you can recharge it. And then it comes with just the regular um, USB adapter here and then this is a, an accessory cord plug. It looks like it plugs into like uh, it'd probably plug into like a phone or a camera. It had a droid plug. I'm sure you can buy, if you buy like the USB plug that has the Apple adapter on it, you can plug in like your iPhone or iPod or any other Apple products that you that you might have. So the thing's really versatile um, and not that expensive. And like I said, paid for itself on the first, first trip. Definitely recommend. And I'll put a link in the description below to their website so that if you want one, you can go get one.